Hey, YouTubers. This is The Art of Prepping. Today we have um, a slitzer knife. Slitzer. Um, let me just uh, go ahead and spell that out for you because it sounds a little different. S-L-I-T-Z-E-R. These are still made, believe it or not. Um, I had this for many years. and It's an all stainless steel knife. And um, I'm, I'm not really for sure how all this works, but I think that slitzer... Because it says it's Slitzer Germany, so I think it's there's an actual company in Germany that maybe uh, uh, is the home office for these, um, but it is made in China, and uh, it doesn't give you the steel. I'm I'm assuming uh, because the lower cost of this knife, it's probably in the in the 400 series stainless steels. Um, it does have though a U.S. patent number, so that's kind of interesting. Maybe the home office is in the, in America. And then they have an office in Germany, and then they make them in China. I don't know, but they have a patent number on the pocket clip etched on there. It's a uh, the pocket clip can be uh, you know reversed just in two places here and over here. Um, it is a um, a lock back design, and um, it has a uh, a hole here, kind of an oval for easy one hand opening. It's very good. It's got serrations. It's a combo edge. And uh, it's pretty sharp. Um, I'd kind of prefer if it was all just uh, fine edge or plain edge. It has this wedge up here on the top of the blade. And uh, it's definitely more like a leaf shape drop point. Almost like a spear point, really. And uh, it does have this uh, additional choil up here so you could get up on it. There is no jimping. It's all smooth. And there's no no jimping on the ramp here, but you can still lock in pretty well. As you can see, I have uh, extra large hands, and uh, I'm assuming that it's probably around four inches closed. It's, it's not a very big knife, but there, because it's all stainless steel, <clears throat> uh, it, it does have it has a feel like maybe it's a little bit heavier than a traditional knife, but not not bad at all. It has a lanyard hole. I just put some standard paracord and I didn't have to gut the paracord it was big enough of a hole for that so just thought I'd show you that it's the slitzer uh, I don't know if there's any other word for name for it it's just what it says uh, I think they namely and uh, mainly uh, deal with kitchen knives to, to my knowledge so if you see these it's it's pretty cool I, I probably wouldn't spend more than like $15 for it I think I got mine for just under 10 it does come with a display box. I'm not really sure why you would need a display box, but um, it is well polished when you get it. I have fingerprints all over mine right now, but so um, it does come in a nice presentation display box. So anyways, uh, thanks again for subscribing and for telling uh, people about my channel, uh, The Art of Prepping. Signing out.